Well, that gesture from the prime minister highlighting what has become a strained relationship with the president over Iran. We put the Iran issue to a focus group today, asking at one point if they believe the president really does have Israel's back, as he stated earlier in the week. He is not treating them like a friend, like the United teeth. States, yeah, and, right. and like yeah. the United States always has. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes, it is. is and the Republicans are strong, quickly. and they know right that this is a, this is a president who shape. captured Osama bin Laden, who wound down a war that we never should have fought, and is committed to protecting the United States, Israel, and the rest of the world. I think he is doing actually the most responsible job possible. And the fact that Mitch McConnell goes in the Senate floor authorizing the use of force is outrageous. That was only. That was the only part where they really were talking over each other. <laughs> Most of it was actually very civil, but very strong on all sides. It was Democrats and Republicans, and there were some real fireworks between these, tho these folks who were thoughtful uh, and very opinionated on this issue. You will see it all in just a bit right here on America Live. Back now to one of our top stories today, the growing showdown over Iran's nuclear program. As Congress starts talking about possibly authorizing the use of force against Iran, the White House press secretary lashed out again today at what he called those people who are beating the drums of war. That comes just 24 hours after President Obama talked about Iran as a campaign issue with these remarks during a news conference yesterday. Now, what's said on the campaign trail? Uh, you know, those folks don't have a lot of responsibilities. They're not commander-in-chief. And when, when I see the casualness uh, with which some of these folks talk about war, uh, I'm reminded of the costs involved in war. I'm reminded of the, the decision that I have to make in terms of sending our young men and women into battle and the impacts that has on their lives, the impact it has on our national security, the impact it has on our economy. This is not a game. And there's nothing casual about it. Let me just give you a sampling of what we've heard on the GOP side on this issue. I'll make sure Iran knows of the very real peril that awaits it if it becomes nuclear. I will engage Iran's neighbors. I will station multiple aircraft carriers and warships at Iran's door. In the Gingrich administration, we would not keep talking while the Iranians keep building. If they do not tear down those facilities, we will tear down them ourselves. I don't think anybody in this country wants war. No. Right? I don't no. think anybody wants war, no. depending, you know, Republican, Democrat. But there's a question about whether we're going to be forced into this because of what the situation is right now in Israel. If, if Israel bombs Iran without the United States, mm -hmm. just raise your hand if you would be in favor of the United States getting involved militarily. We will be It depends already. on it's how well they do. It would be the same. So it's, 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 it's splitting right now along partisan okay. lines. I mean, Stephanie Hausner, Democrat. I mean, I think to say that the president hasn't taken the Iranian threat seriously is ridiculous because we've had seven rounds of sanctions passed. They got the U.N. to pass sanctions, tougher sanctions that would have ever been passed for it that had been passed they're before. They're not working. And it wasn't. They, they are starting to work. And the Israelis no, have not. said, not Prime working. Minister sanctions Netanyahu has said, the people. sanctions are starting to work. Does he Say Do you believe that it's going to be the end, the, the, end, the, the end result is that sanctions are going to be the answer to the Iranian crisis? I don't know crisis? if I would, yes. Politica I don't know. Trust saying him. that ahead, sanctions Kevin. work well. is not very credible because sanctions always go against a nation's poor, right. which is one of the right. reasons why President Bush always said exactly. to the people of Iran, blah, 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 but to the right. leaders, exactly. something else. Right. President so Obama exactly said, is? says, let these let Bernard, Bernard Women, let me ask you, because uh, the Jewish vote in this country uh, typically votes Democrat, right? But Israel is a very difficult issue, uh, and it tends to unite a lot of folks on the Democratic and the Republican side. So is the president in a very difficult position? If, a, if Israel bombs Iran, He's going to displease well, a lot let, of people in this deal, country. Let's deal in reality on the hypotheticals. If it's good enough for Benjamin Netanyahu, it should be good enough for the United States because Israel has the most to lose in all this. Netanyahu was very pleased with the president. The president was very clear that he would not real? endorse he a containment. So no, he would not endorse a containment strategy. He keeps he military options on the table. He does have Israel's back, and he is absolutely um, committed to ensure that Israel, that uh, uh, Iran, does not get a nuclear weapon. What is outrageous? and irresponsible okay, so and disgusting. What is outrageously irresponsible and disgusting is when we are still in the midst of winding down the longest war this country has ever fought, over 6,000 dead, 
almost 50,000 wounded, that the Republican candidates can go out and, and, and engage in this warmongering talk when we haven't even figured out how to deal with the cost of a $3 trillion war that we fought improperly and early and dealt with the two point, and dealt with the 2.3 million vets who are coming back home. It is time that we take care of America here ahead, instead of fostering war no, 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 abroad. Great, great span. Let's get to the point here. Over the weekend, as you just admitted, the president said military options are on the table, and then yesterday he went out after the Republicans. Yes, he did. He said, "Unusually quiet." Explain everyone that you know the commander in chief. That's the most important job that the president has in the Republicans are being responsible that you know the commander in chief. That's the most important job that the president has in the Republicans are being responsible. They're not being casual. He is. What about peace through strength? We have. We're going to have war through weakness because he has coddled the Muslim Brotherhood. He has told Israel and Benjamin Netanyahu. Yahoo. The 1967 borders are fine. He has not treated our friend Israel well enough. Uh, he is not treating them like a friend, like the United teeth. States, yeah, and, right. and like the United States. Yes, it is. And the Republicans are strong, and they know that this is a, 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 a this is a president who captured Osama bin Laden, who wound down a war that we never should have fought, and is committed to protecting the United States, Israel, and the rest of the world. I think he is doing absolutely the most responsible job possible. And if Mitch McConnell goes into Senate floor. Authorizing the use now, of force fiery, is you, outrageous. Did you well, hear he how he changed his mind about Netanyahu, keeping his back? Enough, Kevin, it, quickly. Sorry. He, sh he said if it's good enough for Netanyahu, it should be good enough for Obama. So if Bibi drops bombs, by Bernard's own left of center perspective, we, we should be backing back. up Israel in that. Tracy, you got 10 seconds. He changed when, when he said about um, keeping his back. Being, being, did you see how he completely switched the next no, day? No, he did not. Yes, he did. One that was like that. Back like up Bruce Israel did not. 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 Did not.